Hi guys, welcome to TechBased. In this video, we're going to talk about a new Windows 11 feature that is now available in the Dev and the Canary channels, and that is a new option to pin the widgets board, an option that some users will find useful, maybe other users will find it useless, but nonetheless, I'm going to show you how to enable it if you're interested in enabling this, because this is slowly rolling out in the Dev channel and the Canary channel as well. And of course, if you enjoy videos like these, in which I show you how to enable different hidden features or features that are slowly rolling out in Windows 11, please don't forget to leave a like below and also subscribe to the tech base channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one so let's begin with the video first of all what you need to make sure you do is to open up the microsoft store app go into library in the left side and then click on get updates so that you have all the apps updated including the web experience pack because that is what widgets use in order to get all the new features and so on and of course as i've said click on get updates make sure you are all updated and then you are good to go after that you're going to have to set up Vive tool on your computer. Just go and get Vive tool from the article below in the video description. Download the latest version. Zip. Then you can open up the archive with the Windows File Explorer. Click on Extract All. Click on Browse and extract it into the System 32 location. This PC, Local Disk C, Windows, and then scroll down to System 32. Select Folder, Extract. I'm gonna have to replace the files in this case, and then continue to finish the full process of setting up Vive tool on this computer. Now the last step is to open up the CMD. Right-click on CMD or click on on Ron's administrator and on user account control of course click on yes here in the cmd you're going to have to copy and paste in this command which is vive tool slash enable slash ad 4363 press enter this command was discovered by phantom motion 3 on twitter so make sure to follow him you're going to have his link in the pinned comment below and of course the command will be available in the article as well and after you run it you should receive the message successfully set feature configuration you can now exit out from the cmd and make sure you restart your computer for the changes to take effect now after the restart if you open up the widgets board and you look at the top bar you'll notice a new option pin or unpin the dashboard which is the option that we've talked about if you click on it and of course you pin the dashboard this will be pinned basically on top of every window that you open inside the windows operating system but of course microsoft is still allowing you to dismiss the widgets board even though you have selected the pin dashboard button one of the methods would be to just click on the widgets board button on the taskbar pressing escape on your keyboard is also an option that you can use to dismiss the widgets board when you have the pin dashboard button selected and also you can swipe on the left edge if you have a touchscreen device and that will successfully dismiss the widgets board when it is in the foreground of course so this is a small feature i think that is releasing on the dev and canary channels if you want to enable it just follow along this tutorial and you should have it on your dev or canary channel builds basically the build of 23,000 for the dev channel and 25,926 on the can reach channels. So for more information and all the resources needed, make sure to visit the article below in the video description and follow Phantom Motion 3 on Twitter if you want to find out about more hidden features in Windows 11. If you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to leave a like below and also subscribe to the tech base channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one. I was Jumani from TechBase. Until next time, have a nice day.